Hey, what's up guys? Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. I have playlists for all the hack rank and leak code solutions, so check them out on my channel. Everything else is in the descriptions. I just did one called Unique Email Addresses. This one's called Unique Morse Code Values. So basically, every letter has its own Morse code representation, as we see here. Uh, that's what this says. You don't really have to read it. So there's 26 Morse code representations, each corresponding to a letter in the alphabet. So if we looked up A, it would be this one. If we looked up Z, it would be this one. You can take a word and you can transform it into a Morse code representation by concatenating, just like you would concatenate letters to create a word, you can concatenate Morse code values to create a word. So we're going to call a Morse code representation of a word a transformation here. So what they want to do is we can transform different words and end up with the same Morse code uh, representation. Um, if you just look it up, you can see how that would happen. I don't really want to explain that, but... For example, you would think, let's say that, you know, G is equal to dash dash dot, and then Z is equal to dash dash, but E is equal to dot dot dot, and then I is equal to dot dot. That's not actually how it is, but I'm just saying that might be a way of how they can end up the same Morse code transformation. So how are we going to do this? Well, we just want to return the count of unique transformations, since they can end up the same transformation. We just want the unique ones. So whenever you see unique, I said in the last video, hash set. You're just going to return the hash set.size. We can literally just declare this hash set right now. Hash set of strings, unique codes. All right, is equal to new hash set. We're going to return unique codes.size. There we go, really easy. We're going to loop through the words. So for, we'll do an object loop for word and words. We're going to loop through the words and then we're going to create the Morse code representation using a string builder. Um, we'll call it transformation because that's what they call it. And then we're going to loop through the letters in the word. Word dot two char array. You have to convert it to a char array so that we can loop through the letters using this object loop. And then we're, this is where we actually build our string using the string builder. We're going to look up in an array. This guy created it. I'm not going to in the solution here. Um, I would recommend copying and pasting this because writing this out would probably be annoying. Um, we're just going to look the character, the Morse code corresponding to the character in this array because he actually wrote out the array of um, Morse code values for each character. We're going to look it up by index, just by, a, and then we're going to append it to the string builder, build our string, then we're going to add it into the hash set, return the size of the hash set at the end. So all we have to do is transformation dot append our Morse array of the index of the current character minus the index of A. And we do this to get the corresponding index to the Morse code value of that character. And the subtraction automatically gets the ASCII values of the character, current character in the letter A. So let's say this was the current character was A, and I think that's 97. It would be 97 minus 97, which is 0. It would look up 0, get this value, append it to the string builder, and then we'd keep going. So for each character, it gets the Morse code representation, adds it to the string builder. And then at the end, all we have to do is convert our string builder to string and append it, add it into our unique codes. So we're going to do unique codes dot add transformation dot to string. And then we have the string version. We have now for each word, we have the string version of the Morse code. We have the Morse code transformation. We add all of them into a unique codes hash set, and then we just return the hash set size because hash sets only store unique values. So what does it say? We spelled string builder wrong. That's one, my bad, my bad. Everyone makes mistakes, so we're all good. There we go, successful, first try, there we go. Even though I just tried to make this video right before this, so it wasn't actually first try. But the hash, just remember, anything you see unique, Use a hash set probably. You're just putting unique values into a hash set. And if it's not, if if we've seen the hat if the hash set has seen the value before, it doesn't put it into the hash set, so we just return the size. Hopefully that makes sense, you guys. You can watch the unique email addresses. I think it was even better at explaining the hash sets than this one. So 
um, please check that out. Thank you guys for watching. Check out the other videos. These ones are pretty elementary if you know how to use hash sets and stuff. It's pretty easy. So uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you have a better solution than this. And uh, thank you very much. See you guys next time.